Hey, how's it going? My name's Nat. Let's see what's been making news. Coming up. Emperor penguins headed for extinction. Lionel Messi to leave Barcelona. And bath time. What that means, you'll have to wait and see. Make sure you hit subscribe first, though. It's a prerequisite of continuing the program. Bad news for Happy Feet lovers. Turns out these guys are in a little bit of trouble. A new study's found that emperor penguins, which live in Antarctica, might be extinct by 2100. Here's Kale. Fast forward 100 years, and this might be the only way we can see an emperor penguin. Yep, a new study from the US says that if climate change keeps going at its current rate, emperor penguins could be extinct by 2100. Ah, uh, I think you mean quasi-extinct. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, quasi-extinct. Which basically means a species is doomed for extinction, even if there are still some members kicking about. See, the penguins live down here, on the Antarctic sea ice, where they lay eggs, stay safe from predators, and grow into adults. But this ice is melting fast, which means their home is disappearing. Scientists say that sea ice melting is because the planet is heating up, and governments need to do more to limit climate change. It's why they want the penguins to be officially listed as threatened, because that'd mean governments have to help save them. And it would hopefully mean this doesn't become our reality. Eh, I'm, I'm bored. Should we go see the dodo? Yeah. <laughs> it's Victoria's first full day of a week-long lockdown. Premier Dan Andrews made the decision yesterday after eight new COVID cases in the state. We only get one chance to make difficult decisions that are the right decisions. It's Melbourne's sixth lockdown. Today, Victoria recorded six locally acquired cases of COVID-19. Soccer superstar Lionel Messi is leaving Barcelona. The club says its financial situation means they can't renew his contract as planned. He's now a free agent, but we don't know yet where he'll end up. Today marks 30 years since the world's first website was launched. While it wasn't very interesting by today's standards, it kickstarted the internet as we know and love it. Here's Joe. Some of us use it for important research that could help change the world, while others use it for not that. <laughs> Funny monkey. But whatever you do on the World Wide Web, have you ever stopped and wondered who came up with it? Well, that would be this guy. This is Tim Berners-Lee, an English software engineer. Back in the late 1980s, Tim and his buddies at the European Organisation for Nuclear Research noticed that they needed a way to share information with other scientists and institutions around the world. So, 30 years ago, on August the 6th, 1991, they launched the first ever public website. This is it. It was dedicated to the World Wide Web project and it gave visitors all the information they'd need to know about this new technological revolution. By 2021 standards, it's pretty bland. But nobody could have predicted what it would become. Yep, 30 years on, there's estimated to be around 1.8 billion websites that have completely transformed the way we get information, buy stuff, share ideas, and watch very important videos. Cow. Why is everyone wearing sunglasses indoors? Haven't you heard? It's the latest trend. Everyone who's anyone is doing it. Nat, here are your stories. We need to film the show now. For some inexplicable reason, these next stories heavily feature sunglasses. 70,000 rubber ducks have just been dumped into the Chicago River. Oh no, they're all wearing sunglasses too. Now, if you have questions, don't worry. Me too. For $5, people can adopt a rubber duck in the hope that it wins the race. If you can call it a race. The event's all to raise money for Illinois Special Olympics. This orangutan at a zoo in Indonesia has quickly become a fashion icon after a pair of sunglasses fell into its enclosure. 
After about 20 minutes, zookeepers managed to convince the orangutan to throw the sunnies back. Well, that's all the news we've got for you today. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you on Monday. Bye.